And finally, the Smart Peak Flow. This nifty little device costs £40 for a patient and comes in this very, very small portable size. The reason it's so much smaller, here we go, the reason it's so much smaller than a normal Peak Flow device is because of the fact that it either connects to your device using a Bluetooth connection or it plugs directly into the phone jack of your device. Really, 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 really handy. And basically what it does is, here we go, it's just calibrating now. You blow into it like a normal inhaler. And it will record your peak flow there. And after three blows, it will record the highest reading. Once you've got your reading, it will plot it on a graph and you can monitor your peak flow over time, noticing any dips, any triggers. It's brilliant for self-monitoring. The other thing it will do is it will mark out or it will recognise what your best peak flow reading is. And then each time you give a puff, it will work out what percentage of your best that blow was. On the basis of that, here we go, I've got some screen grabs for you. If it's above 80% of your best, you get a green light and a good. That is a good reading. If it's 60 to 80%, you get amber. And at that point, the app recommends taking your preventer inhaler, your, your reliever inhaler, sorry. It recommends visiting your personalised action plan and potentially speaking to a doctor too. Anything below 60% of your best scores red. And with that is again a recommendation to see your personalised action plan and also advice to call 111. And there's a link in the app where you press the button and immediately it will call them. So I think that's pretty good. One limitation of the device, certainly though, is the fact that the personalised action plan isn't actually in the app. So if you're one of the unlucky patients that doesn't have a personalised action plan, or perhaps you just don't have it to hand, it's not going to be terribly helpful. On the flip side though, it is well validated. The company that produced this have a journal publication, they've gone through all of the medical device compliance, and they also have a CE mark, so you know that it's an accurate device. I think the final drawback, I would say, is that red category, the under 60% of your best, it's a broad category and the advice remains the same. I was trying to game the system before and, uh, and got my peak flow down to 14% of my best. And the advice was still to check my personalised action plan and to call 111 rather than to seek emergency help, which is what I would probably be recommending with a peak flow that low.